All right, to all the mamas out there, happy Mother's Day. I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to go through and decorate this M. Uh, this was from a groovy Mother's Day set. Um, funny enough, it came with O's, but I didn't really like those. So we're going to use our flowers as our M-O-M uh, or W-O-W. Goodness gracious. So we're gonna start with this M and I am, I'm gonna keep it very similar color to this. I like the contrast. You can see here that I had done, um, and this one's starting to speckle cause it's old, but um, I had done the lighter color here. Um, all of these really, I thought went well together. One of the tricks with that is if you, um, mix all your colors in the same bowl from the darkest to the lightest then they all share the same tint and look like they go together works the same way with paints but um, just a little trick of the trade there so what i'm going to do typically when i outline i want to outline in the same color that i am going to flood it with but here, we're actually going to do a different color on the outside. And you can see that I had done that on, let's see, on this one, where that's outlined in orange. And then we've got our pink on top. Because we're going to do this, I am going to set that one aside right now. And I'm going to show you the other M that we can do. <clears throat> So for this one, I'm gonna show you some different wet on wet techniques. And this is something that you can use on any one of these cookies. Um, but I learned some new ones. So what we're going to do is go ahead and flood this one. We're gonna trim it in and start flooding this with the same color okay and I always do a little trim out before I start filling everything in it makes the job go a little bit quicker and um, it keeps your lines around these edges this trim that we did or um, the outline that we did make sure that it keeps that nice and clean. Um, for this M, I'm gonna do it the way I mow my lawn. Um, we're gonna go back and forth because these are such tiny areas. You can certainly do the, go from the outside and fill in. Um, I am much more likely to do that when the space is a little bit bigger. So for the legs here, I'm just going to go ahead and go back and forth and then I'll fill this in with the circular pattern. It doesn't matter how you do it. Um, you just wanna make sure that you've got icing everywhere. Have a little bit of dip here, a little bit of a dip. Um, I don't see any bubbles right now, but I'm gonna shake it just to make sure. Oh, got one right here. When you shake it, you even everything out. Um, and it levels, uh, and that is one way to make sure that you get a nice flat full coverage. So I am going to go back to this one. Oh, I lied. Um, we are going to do little dots, okay? So I am going to take another wet icing while this is still wet and we're going to do five little dots um, if you have paid attention to what our theme is here you will know that these are going to become little flowers so i'm going to take the very tip of my magic wand and i'm not pulling i'm not going very deep into that icing but I'm pulling from the center of the dot in toward the middle to create that petal look. Now you can absolutely leave it 
the way it was. It's absolutely adorable. Um, and for this one, I think I'm going to do a pink center. Okay. That is one way to do a wet on wet flower. Another way is to do little circles. And circles can be really tricky and hard. It doesn't matter in this case though, if they're perfect circles or not. So you're going to start outside in the purple outside of that circle. And again, just barely drag the top layer of icing and we have pulled in together and now have a little flower created just slightly different. Oh, I am shaking like a mess today. And you can fill those in or not. On this particular sample, I'm just trying to show you as much as I can as far as different techniques. So I also made these transfers out of crusting buttercream, and hopefully most of the petals stayed intact, although you know that when we do this, uh, if there is a petal that is missing or um, is not not existent and I'm looking for one over here in my flower box oh goodness this is gonna make me break one just to show you guys all right let's say that this little flower here we're gonna put them on the edge and there's some broken all right, I gotta get my magic wand out. Some broken petals, which I just broke off because I couldn't find any. I'm gonna scoop it up here, turn my cookie, and kind of set it. Oh goodness, I'm talking like this is easy. You guys know that sometimes I will use tweezers when I'm working on this because everything is so tiny. Um, but if we set it there, that bottom icing works as glue and you can kind of put it back together without too much trouble. Um, I need some little itty bitty daisies that we can add here. And we've got a groovy M for mama and two ways you can do those um, flowers uh, wet on wet. You can do the dots, you can kind of clean this up by moving around the icing. Can't leave well enough alone. It's part of my problem. Um, okay, so there is that for right now. And you can use any one of these techniques. You have six ends to play with. So you can add patterns. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do the bubble letters real quick um, to where they kind of look like, oh, maybe even a balloon. So what I wanna show you here is that this icing has started to crust and you can tell that because uh, it's starting to have a little bit of more of a matte finish. So this one I'm gonna go inside with my orange. And I'm gonna be really careful not to overflow this one because I want to still be able to see that pink trim and outline. Nobody said decorating cookies was fast. Oh my goodness. I am out of practice. My hand is getting sore. Also, some of those bags are a little bit bigger uh, than I typically do. I wanted to make sure you guys had enough icing. So what I did was I gave you plenty of icing. There's about six ounces of each color, which should be more than plenty. Um, there are a couple of bags in your kit. And if you accidentally cut the hole too big, or you notice that, um, oh shoot, the bag is starting to bust, 
you can put that right over this bag or fill it and tie it at the top. They are a little bit smaller bags. Um, so we've got that just in case. But also, if you wanted to rebag some of this icing uh, for littler hands, that is also something you could use those bags for. Just don't put as much icing in there. Okay. This reminds me of Cheetos. Artificial cheese is where it's at, people. Okay, finally got that. And as I'm looking through, I see this didn't quite get all the way over. So I'm gonna just swirl it and make sure it's touching. Also gonna give it a quick, quick shake. So when we come back to this, you can do it any way. If you want to do uh, it like this, you're going to do everything on the left side. I'm going to do this one on the right side just for the sake of trying something different. And we can do little dots here. Kind of like playing with bubble letters when you're a kid. I know my girls still like playing with bubble letters. It's one of my favorite doodles. Okay, so, all right. I don't know if anybody caught this, but I messed it up because I did not stay on the same part of the line or of the side. However, ta-da! We can just put a little flower right there. And I thought these were kind of cute in bunches even. Fun thing about transfers is they don't have to lay flat or stick completely on and within the confines of the cookie. They can be a little bit wily. I don't know if that's the word. Um, Let's see, I'll just stick that one here. So you can do a whole bunch or you can just do one. I think it looks adorable with either. Um, it's my design, so I, I'm a little partial, but do what you want, play with it. We have got two really cute ways and several different techniques to work on this M. Um, we've got some bubble letters, some wet on wet, and then some pattern use with our uh, transfer of daisies. All right. <laughs>